Okay, in this recording, is obviously now the quantitative aspects of a physical change as well as the types of reaction taking place go gumalogan chuguma physical changes. Um so sometimes the quantitative aspects is sometimes referred to as e istochometer, right? So you perform my calculations together. All right, question nine in the description box of this video was a tolama links for other recordings on Wayne for this question paper on November two thousand and 18 um now we're interested check them out but do not call so support for this channel by liking sharing and subscribing now we're new to this channel um now i'm gonna question as cool in the description box of the in the comment section of this video so question nine again two test tubes a and b both contain a sodium um salt solution after a small amount of barium chloride is added um, the solution in both test tubes forms a white precipitate. Test tube A and B see eta ini a barium chloride solution. 9.1. Write down the type of reaction that takes place in the test tubes. 9.1. Um, because of a precipitate is forming la sine precipitation reaction. The types of reactions have as well study child like a grade 10. Um, I can only think of a precipitation reaction the decomposition reaction right now but i think there's a third one as well but you call you 9.1 this is a precipitation reaction 9.2 then after the talk formula white precipitate le, see at a concentrated nitric acid solution into each test tube to establish which one contains ama carbon i am a carbonate ions and which one contains ama sulfate ions Bubbles are formed in test tube A, meaning there's a reaction A and Zegaiola. There is no reaction in test tube B, meaning nothing happens like with test tube B, right? Uh, so, nitric acid, Jesus Chelugutti, there are carbonate ions or sulfate ions. Now, of course, I'm going to white precipitate in test tube A and test tube B, right? Okay, okay. Now, I'm a question again for 9.2 RT. RT, get one 9.2.1, identify which ions, carbonate or sulfate, are present in test tube B. Now, with test tube B, nothing happened, right? Nothing happened, right? I'm a carbonate ions, yo azo, yenza, ama bubbles. Ngoba gunani, gune carbon dioxide ama carbon ama carbonate ions they are known for forming ama for forming a carbon dioxide so ama carbonate ions you are form ama bubbles that would test tube a lago test tube b nothing happens so in other words answer it to la uh good test tube b cinema sulfate ions 9.2 9.2.1 we have ama sulfate ions right we have ama sulfate ions 9.2.2 write down a balanced chemical equation that represents the reaction between nitric acid and the precipitate formed in test tube a in test tube a remember with test tube a a white precipitate formed but what is the name of leo precipitate a forming with test tube a oh okay so since it says identify a good test tube a there are carbon um guna ma carbon guna ma carbonate ions but la ma carbonate ions ayo hlanga na le barium asi edicta eqaleni remember so lana sine barium carbonate right the barium carbonate it's the white precipitate they form again right so we no bala a balanced chemical equation the barium the white precipitate reacts with what nitric acid right and then if forma ini you form a carbon dioxide. Remember, la ma bubbles are forming a la wa. Now, sang ani sa in nitric acid ne ne barium carbon ne barium carbonate utola a carbon dioxide na manzi Na salt a salt carbon dioxide and water. In is in those tola yo kilis. Nang a big reactor a carbonate na ni ne acid. Okay, okay, okay. Now, what's the balance of the equation? 
What's he balance the equation? The balancing, I believe it's the easiest part. But anyway, as he ends, barium one, barium one, balanced. Carbon one, carbon one, it balanced. Oxygen three, plus three I six, I'm a oxygen way to get. And then up I'm a oxygen, I'm going um, on the right hand side, see now two times three, six, and then see, um, six, seven, eight, nine. I nine, I'm a Roganjui together. We have Ama, we have Ama oxygen, I nine. Let me count again two times three, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Nine, Minang Nangaiki, six, Yama carbon, right? I mean, I'm a oxygen. Three plus three, this is six. This is six. So, lanang na nine in total on the right hand side. So, how do we balance? Lama cabo, lama oxygen now. Uh, okay, how about C skip for now? C skip the oxygen for now. Right? C skip for now. Um, Spawn with the Nasia Pambili. Is there anything else? Is it the Musi balance? Let's check your hydrogen. Hydrogen one. I'm going up I two. Right? As balance a yon again. So last for good two. I'm a, I'm a hydrogen. Say that balance it. As you go nitrogen again. Nitrogen I'm going to I two. Say that I two. Two times once it's two times two, two nitrogen. And then on the right hand side it's two times. And this is not two yama nitrogen. So I'm a nitrogen a balance il, hydrogen a balance il, carbon a balance il, except for any for your oxygen. Pega ge manch. Let's check again. Mavasis fago two la. Let's check with the oxygen yet he balance il. Three, two times three. Um, two, okay, two times three is six, plus three is nine. So I nine, I'm a oxygen, I'm a oxygen one. Ngapa is one. Plus two, it's three. Plus six is nine. So I'm a oxygen. So I'm a in zene. A balance il. Sometimes you have fun with the u u skip a many u bona ngata axilulu gutu a balance. Ama ama atoms wa kuja skip them. U bona with the is there anything else on a balance a much more quicker than uh, the one o pegen e na yo much. Sometimes you have neta lo. So there's different techniques to solve ama or balance my chemical equation. So this is one of them. Um Navis P is kiki resana no oxygen match. Yeah ga balance, yeah ga balance. Navis is clean as fagu tula. Then we screw up the whole thing. Now anyway, I balance the equation here to nine point three. A solution of sodium carbonate was prepared by dissolving five gram of powder um in hundred cubic centimeters of water. The solution reacted with a barium chloride solution. Na a barium chloride solution reacta nani na le solution yani the sodium carbonate. Um, according to the following, oh, the, the solution reacted with the barium chloride solution according to the balanced chemical equation. 9.3.1. Calculate the mass. Calculate the mass of barium carbonate. That should form in this reaction. That should form in this reaction. So, pegas funa in a barium carbonate. We want a barium carbonate, but we have in a powder of a sodium carbonate. We have five grams of this. We want the barium chloride, uh, the, the barium carbonate, a forming ion. All right, so this is where stoichiometry comes in again right we we given a mass we want to calculate an unknown mass this is seven stoichiometry but now seven is stoichiometry to cal to calculate our unknown masses you need to change our masses into our moles the number of moles so we start off by calculating the number of moles for a sodium carbonate right sodium carbonate uh, the formula is mass divided by molar mass. The given mass of five divided by the molar mass. The molar mass can be calculated by using Ilogange, a periodic table. So, the, the, the atomic masses for sodium carbon and the oxygen. 
so as pege as consult e periodic table ge uh, periodic table okay periodic table ugu p naso periodic table so si funa i sodium bi sodium na i sodium has an atomic mass of 23 and then oxygen 16 and then what else conch sodium carbon okay ne carbon na 12 ge right so si jo tige manje so t two times i2 am sodium so i'm times i'm times in load 23 by 2 plus carbon it's 12 oxygen is 16 so it's 16 times 3 answer is 106 106 so, so divide up by 106 lana so what is 5 divided by 106 is equal to 0 0.047 so in three decimal places is 0 0.047 okay lana argument saying nani saying the number of moles is 0 0.047 then we check the mole ratio in the balanced equation how many number of moles okay this is the balanced equation and just check alama coefficients lawala Duzan and Alama Nalama for Nalama compounds in question. What's the molar ratio for barium carbonate? It's one. What's the molar ratio for this one? Is sodium carbonate? It's one. So there's a one to one ratio between these two substances. We check out the given substance and the unknown substance, right? Pell. The other ones are, are I was looping out. Ne? Okay, there's a one to one ratio, meaning that remember Funa ini the number of moles for Ibarium carbonate. So the things always we change uh, to Imasia corn, right? So therefore so it means there's a one to one ratio. So for every zero point zero four seven mole of sodium carbonate, zero point zero Four seven mole of Ibarium carbonate is formed because of the one to one ratio. For every one mole of the substance, le, one mole of this barium carbonate is formed. So, therefore, saying the number of moles for Ibarium carbonate, now saying I calculate mass again. Much. The mass of Ibarium carbonate is the number of moles times the molar mass times the molar mass as for Ibarium, 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 Ibarium. Barium, 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 Naila. It's one three seven, right? It's one three seven. So it means you get Lana, barium eight, it's one three seven plus carbon, which is twelve plus sixteen times three. Answer it's one nine seven. So it's zero point zero seven zero point zero four seven. 0 0.0 now 0 lang kosu 0 it's 0 0.047 0 0.047 0 0.047 0 0.047 times the molar mass of 1197 <coughs> so 197 times 0 0.047 answer is 9.26 Right now, having a round off to two decimal places, nine point two five nine grams in three this as you see with three decimal places. So this is the mass a four megil again. Now for the last question, but it was found that only eight point eight point three gram precipitate formed. So meaning that but any but okay, Tina okay. You wanna leave value le. This 9.25 gram, 9.259 gram of Ibarium carbonate formed is what is what we call a theoretical value. It's a theoretical value. But now perform experiment. You might not get the exact value as the theoretical value. Remember, the value is as you calculate it. But now perform experiment. Um, you actually measure lama 
lama substances aforme gini mslambe na iforme yagyo itatu ibege uibege guscale beswe imecha arake but uze na we calculate our total with it's 9.259 then na uta to perform experiments to your surprise we total with it's 8.3 hmm so it means lana there's a difference between the actual value and the theoretical value that's when we have a concept called a percentage yield but it's calculated a percentage yield for this experiment 9.3.2 um so kalang ug eraser basis ends the last question all right last question 3.9.3.2 <coughs> we want the percentage yield the percentage yield is calculated as the actual value right or the actual yield divided by the theoretical value or yield times by 100 so we substitute the actual value after performing experiment is told with its 8.3 divided by the theoretical value the value is calculated 9.3.1 9.2 um 18 or 9. 259 times a hundred so therefore 8.3 9.259 times a hundred equal to 89.64 percent 89.64 percent so now answer a two it means the percentage yield for this experiment was 89.64 percent right 9.3.2 was the last question for this question 9 i hope we enjoy it leng a khohlo like nga khohlo share la bangani ba khonga khohlo subscribe i'm now new to this channel in the description box there are videos on our bugela as well for this november 2018 so for now aspona on the next video and bye bye yeah